You're looking at a live shot just outside our studios, Hawaiian Electric workers walking the picket lines. Workers represented by IBEW went on strike at 3.30 this afternoon. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. Laura Yamada has the night off. We begin tonight with developing news. Unionized electrical workers at three power companies on five islands are on strike tonight. And on Oahu, Hawaiian electric officials say the strike will mean repairs to power outages in EVA and elsewhere will be slow. KITV Force Keoki Kerr is live in our newsroom with the latest. Keoki? Well, Paula, Hawaiian Electric says about 8,000 customers on Oahu are still without power at this hour, and it's going to be a while before power is restored. They can't say when all the electricity will be back on. Let's take a look outside of that live shot now. Strikers right now outside of Hiko's Ward Avenue headquarters. As you just said, since 3.30 this afternoon, just for a couple of hours now, 1,300 unionized employees at Hawaiian Electric Company on Oahu, Maui Electric on, in Maui County, and Hawaii Electric Light Company on the Big Island have walked off the job. HECO has brought in management crews and contract workers to repair those outages caused by the bad weather overnight. So we do have management crews available and contractors who are assisting us in this, uh, and we will do our best, particularly with critical services and with outages. Uh, but I do want to ask the public for its patience. Uh, we are obviously not at full staff and, and are having to prioritize the work uh, as best we can. Now back, uh, we can take a look back outside now at uh, those, uh, those striking workers, if we can get that picture there. And you can see some of them told us they were surprised by the strike. Take a look at them. You see them in shorts and T-shirts. Obviously, if they'd had uh, a little bit more time in this rainy weather, they probably would have been addressed uh, in a different way. Uh, Bobby Om there, the executive vice president of HECO here on Oahu, said, obviously, it is not a good day at Hawaiian Electric. That is certainly an Understatement. The last negotiations were today, actually. Negotiations between management and the union broke off about 2.30 this afternoon when HECO says the union uh, let them know that they plan to go on strike at 3.30 this afternoon. HECO says there are about 1,100 non-union employees at the uh, three companies on five islands. That compares to the 1,300 unionized workers on strike. They're also bringing in those strike replacement workers, contractors from both the mainland and uh, from here in Hawaii. They are sending them out, they say, um, along with managers to those areas, especially in the EVA area where all the, we've had all those uh, power problems overnight to work to restore power. That is the latest uh, from outside and from in here, Paula. Kiyoki, what does the union have to say about this right now? Well, they haven't said anything publicly other than to confirm that there is a strike. There have been a number of issues, though, union officials tell me. Um, some of the key issues at the bargaining table involved. When does this contract start? Uh, they want it to go retroactive back to November of last year. They say that management wants to make it, uh, you know, since these negotiations have dragged on many months, wants to make it effective now so that, in other words, you know, they wouldn't be able to get their retroactive raise for many months. That's one issue. The other issue is retirement benefits. Um, or they want to get rid of uh, uh, early retirement for some people. Union says they are not going to budge on that issue. Back to you, Paula. All right, Kiyoki, thank you very much.